Step 1. For this tutorial, we will be making an audio reaction circle, like the one you see on NCS videos, and it will be reacting to your audio. You will need the Trap Code Form plugin. You can get a free trial if you don't have it. Step 2. Create a composition and add a new solid by pressing Ctrl or Command Y, and apply Trap Code Form to the solid. Step 3. Under the Base Form tab, set Size X to 590 and Size Y to 430, Size Z to 0, Particles in X to 400, Particles in Y to 400, and Particles in Z to 1. Step 4. Go to the Particle tab, and you can change the color of your circle. Step 5. Import your audio file and drag it onto the timeline. Now go to the Audio React tab, and set the audio layer to your audio file. Expand Reactor 1 and change Width to 20, Strength to 100, and Map 2 to Fractal. Then expand Reactor 2 and change Width to 65, Strength to 20, and Map 2 to Sphere 1 Size. Step 6. Under Fractal Field, change Displace to around 50 and Flow Y to around negative 170. Step 7. Under Spherical Field, change Strength to around 100 and Radius to around 420. Step 8. Go to World Transform and use the Rotation, Scale, and Offset options to place it wherever you like. Step 9. Go to Rendering and turn Motion Blur on. Motion Blur does take longer to render, so if you want faster previews, turn it off until you are ready to render your finished product. Step 10. Apply the glow effect to your layer. The settings are good already, but you can change the color to your preferences. Step 11. Import your logo and background, and you're ready to render.